Welcome back, my friends, to Kingdom Rush Frontiers. We've got Storm Atoll today. This is the second level in the new update, in the new campaign that we can play in Kingdom Rush Frontiers for Steam. I know they're out, uh, out on mobile and everything, but uh, Steam, it just looks amazing. I love playing on my computer, and it just makes things so much easier and more fun for me. And I enjoy it. So we're playing on a veteran, of course. So, yeah, new campaign on veteran. I know, really, really tough, but I think we can make it happen for you guys today. So let's kind of set up the uh, set up the uh, the towers a little bit. You guys know I like to set up my towers for you guys just to kind of get get you used to what you're supposed to do. If you just start off with this, and know to get uh, you know certain upgrades, you'll be fine. Always cross before it's never go for the other side. Um, always right-sided artilleries. Pretty much, pretty much. I never go for dwarfs anymore. <laughs> Screw dwarfs. And, uh, mages, I usually go for a mixture of archmages and necromancers. Usually I only need one necromancer right on the, uh, right where, like, all the guys just kind of combine together. And then the archmages are kind of just, like, everywhere else. That's usually how I go. Usually necromancers near the end of the map as well. So anyways, um, starting off here, guys, wave one, what do we got going on? Let's talk about the map really quick. There's two places where the, uh, the guys can leave. Um, still we're starting off with just, like, some green fins and some, uh, stupid wolves. Wolves are actually not that bad, but they they can sneak through every once in a while, so just be a little careful. That's why I like Ulrich, he, he makes so many sand warriors that he usually can, uh, can take down or, or stun these wolves long enough for my uh, towers to do some damage. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, again, Battle Mechas, I just love them so darn much. If you guys can ever get them, go for the Battle Mechas. Battle Mechas with Wasp Missiles are just boss, and this is like a perfect spot. Everybody... Uh, pretty much everybody in the game, except except for a few tiny little baby green fins walking down to the bottom there, are gonna you know go next to this dwarven bombard. So definitely try and uh, uh, get him upgraded all the way uh, pretty pretty quickly. I know round one or wave one, wave two, make it happen. All right. So as far as my hero is concerned, he started right there. Uh, oh, whoa, two heroes, guys. Yeah, don't forget about that. Um, I've got a second hero, which I'm just gonna leave right there. That's where he started off, and he can hit pretty much everybody. So, um, I tried him up on the top there. I tried him kind of down near the bottom. Uh, just just go for... Just keep him there. It, it's the best spot. He puts mines all over the map, which guys randomly run into. And he can still throw explosions on people, which is really, really interesting as a hero. So, they made this map uh, so difficult that you also have to use that hero well. If you don't use that hero well, you will not win this map. So, by the way, again, I am playing on veteran mode, so this means it's going to be slightly more difficult for me. I have to use my reinforcements every 10 seconds or else I'm going to lose this game. I have to use my random fires nearly perfect or else I'm going to lose this game. If you're playing on regular mode, you can kind of just slack just a little bit. You don't have to use the reinforcements every 10 seconds. You don't have to use the random fires perfectly, but you still should use them pretty well if you want to win this game. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, the, uh, the Zeus-looking statue in the middle there, um, uh, or King Trident, what's his name? Get Poseidon. All right, there he is. I want to call him King Trident. That's that's what he was in uh, Little Mermaid, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. So was he? I don't know. I can't remember anymore. Anyways, Poseidon, um, the Poseidon statue or whatever. Uh, you can repair it for 500 bucks, and it gives you basically like a really strong attack, kind of like a grouped damage attack. But you can only use it every once every like wave or so. It, it's very, very, very long cooldown. So it, for 500 bucks, I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe you can try it out if you want to, but I don't know. I don't know. It's like if you get every single one of your towers already built to where you want them to go, getting that is definitely not a bad thing. All right, so we've got some just uh, random devil tides over here running through my defense. No, 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 ain't running through anybody's defense. All we're expecting there, stopping them all. So I th I put a lot of thought into this. I was thinking maybe I should use a uh, a necromancer tower instead of a barracks tower up in the top right there, but I just decided, you know, let's go for the barracks. It's nice, it's easy. Maybe I'll switch over to Necromancer Tower later on in the game, but for now, barracks is fine by me. And when I say switching over, I mean selling things obviously does cost some money, but honestly, the amount of money that you're going to lose compared to the amount of stuff that you're going to gain or the amount of damage you're going to gain off of that guy, definitely worth it if you're switching, you know, on wave like 11, 12, 13, or 14. Alright, so, obviously, with my reinforcements, this is kind of an important thing. I, I will say this quite a lot, guys. Make sure you're putting them kind of out of the way. You do not want your reinforcements to be hand-attacking people. This sounds really weird and stupid, but it's it's the best way to do 
damage, which is obviously what you want to do. You don't want to stun the guys forever. You want to do damage. You want to take these guys down. You want to kill these guys. So let your measly little barracks guys defend and, and kind of just sit there and do things while you use your uh, reinforcements kind of out of the way. All right, so we're right now we've got two battle mechas right now, kind of in the middle there. Let's switch this guy back up to the top there, because there's a lot of guys trying to run through. And again, with reinforcements, put them behind things. Ulrich does a reasonable amount of damage. Obviously, Ulrich is, is meant for sand warriors more than uh, anything else, but... Um... But um, yeah. But um, yeah. <laughs> but um, ch I'm going to say but um so many times this game. I don't know why. I don't know why I do that. Whenever I'm playing Kingdom Rush, I always say but um, but um, but um... Ah, oh, crap. More black surges. So here we go. We're going to wait until all these green fins pop up, and we rain of fire. I believe that's as far as he's going to go. I don't think he goes any, any, any like further than that. Oh, crap. No. No. Not one of these guys. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. How are we going to stop this blood shell? All right, so we got 3,200 health. Ridiculous amount of health over here. Um, you gotta use magic against him. He has great armor. Go eight armor, yeah. You heard that right. Great. Not high, not medium, not low. Great! So seriously, these archers are gonna do like nothing. Your random people doing shooting things are gonna do like almost nothing. Um, he's invulnerable to any artillery. So literally, the only thing you can do to kill the guy is mages. So, I've got a measly low-level mage tower right there trying to do some stuff to him. Uh... Hoping that it's going to work out. Honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to let him chill here for a long time. Let my mage tower slowly drain him of health. And um, if worse comes to worst, I'll have to sell my barracks and get that mage tower I was talking about. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Though, honestly, the only good thing about this guy is he's not all that. He's not that strong. He can't do that much damage. Somebody's, the next wave's about to come out, so we're just going to use the Rain of Fire really quick. Bam, Shazam, take this bad boy down, get a big chunk of gold, and we're ready to go. Popping all work already back in his spot. He goes right in between. He goes right in that circle. That's like the best spot for all of us. Right on that circle right there where the shield is. That's like, you know, that's where the guys leave, but I don't know. I just I like to put them inside the circles. It just makes sense. Okay, so now I've got a lot of random guys coming out. Black surges and red spines. Oh my, oh my, oh my. This is where mages would really come into play. So if, if you've noticed, I've been trying not to block the black surges at this point. I, tr I try my best to make sure the black surges kind of just walk through my defense until the end of the map. I know that sounds so stupid, but it just it's the best way to do it in most situations. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to I'm gonna stop these guys just for a little bit. The Black Surge is still doing things and everything, but he's still not like on top of my guys yet. So now we've got some Black Surge on the top up here, uh, you know, causing some havoc. Obviously, they're just straight up evil. So I can't really do anything reasonable value right now. It's kind of horrible. I don't even want my barracks guys in the way. Again, just let him just walk through if he can. He's gonna, as soon as you hurt him down to one health, he's gonna like, Whoa, I'm gonna go with my shell and heal myself, because I'm evil. I hate him so much. There's a few enemies in this, in the, in, in King Rush series that I'm just like, freaking hate. I can't decide what's my least favorite unit, though. I don't know. They gotta be up there, for sure. Stopping towers, healing up, they're, they're just evil. Alright, but it looks like we will take them down. So that was wave nine, guys. Holy crap. Alright, so now we can put our barracks guys back in back at the in the spot over here. I also thought long and hard if I want to go for a mage tower instead of two barracks, get a necromancer tower. But I just decided there's not that many guys really going down there. Um, but you really hate when you lose to one guy walking. Well not lose, but you hate losing lives, right? So usually just get an extra barracks if you don't want to lose a life. That's usually how it works. Because then you can move your all move all work around, or use your rain of fire, or use your reinforcements. Just stun them for just a few seconds longer to allow you to do something to stop them. So green fins, red fins, black surge, green fins. Okay. Let's do this. Just normal guys. Nothing too crazy coming out yet. Oh no, what are these mofos? I didn't even know he was coming out. I didn't even know he was coming out. But we got an arc page now. So, um... Pretty much doing the exact same thing we did last time, but now we're actually going to do better. Uh, we honestly, I don't even know if I need Ulrich down here, but 
There's nobody else coming out on the top yet, so just make use of them, I guess. Put some sand warriors down, little buddy. Put some sand warriors down. There we go. We got the red spawns coming back. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, the battle mecha back. Move all Rick back. Make sure these red spawns ain't running through. Holy crap, dude. These guys are really trying to run through my defense. But scan warriors, reinforcements, bam, shazam, just pop literally five units down right away. And this, um, this evil crab monster is gonna die. Archmage is powerful enough to take him down. Oh, crap. He's actually sneaking through a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not horrible that he's sneaking through. It's, it's... Again, I mean, it's not horrible. It's just not really a good thing. Now we've got kind of uh, this crab monster and a black surge over there. But it looks like... How much health does he have? He's got like 150 health or something like that. Uh, they've got a couple guys piled up right now. Got a lot of guys piled up right now. Whoop! Chicka chicka boom boom! How much damage we're doing to these guys though? Oh my god, the reinforcements and everything. <laughs> and the stupid crab monster will be defeated. No, he's not dead yet. Where? What? Are you kidding me? I can't even... T I see all red on his health. Oh, yeah, I know he does have some health. This is the uh, the problem with the lack of magic here, guys. But now we've got some blue gales coming out. So these guys are even... I don't even know. These guys are also kind of bad, but not quite as bad as the, uh, the blood shells. Um... Basically, what they do is they make giant storms that slowly kill your units. And also makes it so you can't click on your towers to do anything. So there's a lot of ta a lot of guys in this game um, that make it so you can't click on your towers. You can't really like do as much as you'd normally like to do. Blue gales, man, evil, evil blue gales. Those guys, I don't hate them quite as much, though they are kind of just, they're just mean, you know. So why well, you gotta make some storms on me, dude? I'm just having a good old day, riding around in the sun and everything, and you're just gonna darken up my days, pray some storms, make it rain all over my face. Sad sometimes, sad sometimes to have these blue gales be so darn evil. Um, they're usually not that bad unless you get them in big, big bundles. If you get like three or four of them in a row, and uh, I mean, if you don't have a rain of fire, it's just like it's unstoppable almost. They're just gonna keep walking through. Um, you can stun them with people, but they kill your guys pretty fast. They got like a, a pretty strong lightning attack, and when you got like three or four of them kind of piled up on top of each other, bam, it's a freaking zam. They're just gonna walk right through, dude, or swim right through, or horse. I don't even know what they do. Flop right through. What do they got? They got tails? I can't even tell. Let's wait till I see them again. So these guys look like they got legs. Red spines definitely got legs. They're walking for sure. Uh, the green fins definitely have legs as well. Pretty much everybody has legs. I wonder what that. I don't know. They look like seahorses to me. That's what they look like. Blue gales. All right. Also, these whales, dude. I, <laughs> I kind of wish I could just blow them up. You know, just like rain of fire the whale or something. Just kill them and have them never come back. That would be nice. Because they don't tell you those guys are coming out, by the way. They don't. So, again, nothing too bad coming out um, on the bottom here. But we've got a big, bad blood shell coming out on the top here. So we've got to do our absolute best to, uh, you know, Archmage this guy. And try and stun him inside the range of this Archmage. Um, let's hope that he doesn't have damage. I mean, that's just all I can do. So I'm thinking about uh, repairing this thing. I mean, it's 500 gold pretty much the amount of money that I have right now, so let's get it, let's zap him, but it didn't do as much damage as I thought, but guess what guys, we got the whirlwind, so we're going to slurp up a few of these guys, oh man, I didn't even send him back at all, that was, that was bad, that was horrible, still trying to stun this guy, oh snap, he ended up running through my defense, and he's got great armor, so there's like almost nothing that I can do at this point against this guy, besides possibly rain of fire him in the very end, if he is able to run through everything. Um, hope I don't need to do that, but it's a possibility. It's only a possibility. Like I said, he's just so darn tanky. No artillery damage. All the wasp missiles, literally a waste. Don't do nothing. But I think we're going to take this guy down. He's only got a little tiny bit of health. By the time the other guys get here, we can, um, he'll be dead. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. No, he's still not dead. Those guys, seriously, they, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they tank so much stuff. All right, now we got blue eels coming up on the top here too. Oh man, this is just looks scary. The guys literally coming from every direction, from the bottom, from the middle, from the top, making storms, just being tanky, being scary. 
So also, with my barracks, guys, I know I'm weird, but I love the Templars. I, I don't think I'll ever go uh, with the other upgrades. I just like the Templars so darn much, so... Hey, feel free to build the other guys if you want, but I, I... Just my style, dude. I have a certain style that I like to play with. Certain combinations that I think are good, and if you don't like it, that's fine. Just don't play with them. Build your own. But this is a, this is kind of like my, my strategy guide for people. So we get a big chunk of enemies over here. Red spines, blue gales, green fins, everything all over the place. And we rain a fire to them for a drastic change in the game right there. So, because the final wave is coming up, I don't know if I want to be greedy and, you know, send it out too early. So let's wait until we for sure kill, like, all the guys. It's looking pretty good, though. So we had 750 gold. What are we going to do with it all, guys? I don't know. Well, there's so many things we could do. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Favor of the gods? What do you guys think? Ooh, we got two blood shells right from the get-go. Two crab monsters. So hopefully I can take... I don't know. Hopefully I can take these guys down pretty... Oh, no! That's not good. We've got whale guys on top of the crab monsters. Now, honestly, if I had to fight this thing in real life... Well, let's just say that it wouldn't go very well. Let's just say that I would die. <laughs> For sure. I would get my head chopped off in, like, two seconds. Think about it. This guy, he could literally... Like, if you've ever, like, had, like, a crab pinch you, you have little tiny crabs, like, the size of... I don't know. Golf ball or something. They, they pinch you. They hurt. They hurt really bad. Like, they can, they can, like, hurt. I don't know if they can crush your finger or anything, but they can make you bleed. Um, and maybe make you bleed if they pinch you in the right spot or whatnot. They, they just hurt, just in general. They hurt. Uh, not as bad as a mousetrap, but they, they hurt. So you imagine those little tiny things. Imagine, like, a, you know, a big, like, dog-sized one. That thing could probably, like, chop your wrist off or something like that. Now imagine one that's even bigger than you. I'd just be like, oh, guess what? Look at your little skinny neck. Crunch! Crunch! Chomp it right on off. Alright, so we got some more blood shells coming in here. Coming in hot, we got uh, rid of the one blood shell, but now we've got a full health blood shell over here. So I decided to go, instead of selling my Templars, I decided to sell the Archer Tower for this blood shell. Uh, for, the, for the Archmage. And uh, we got two blood shells left. All we gotta do is take these guys now. We got oh no, we've got uh, the one blood shell is just about dead. But we've got a black surge on top of these two ones, and I've got no rain of fire. So really, it's all about stunning. How long can we stun these? I don't care about the blue wheel down there. Suck my balls. Whatever. Get out of here. But this blood shell, two blood shells, is gonna be tough to take down. When you have one blood shell, it's it's tough enough. But two of these guys, oh snap. So the Archmage is doing damage, but it's attacking the wrong one. Attacking the one with more health, rather than the one with less health. So all you gotta do is wanna wait for the Reign of Fire. As soon as we get the Reign of Fire, I think we can take both these guys down. Uh, doing a pretty good job stunning. And we get the Reign of Fire. Oh, we sent him back as well! Perfection, alright. Absolute, I don't wanna say that's perfect timing, but uh, could have been... Could have been worse, for sure. And we ran to fire them to clean those little blood shells up. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button for me. I really do appreciate that. Um, hopefully this strategy works for you guys. Um, you know, a little bit, of, little bit of trouble there in the middle, but overall went pretty smoothly. So thanks so much for watching. I'm a super duper delicious day.